Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are making strawberry shortcake. Yum. Grab a plate, cause it's the all-free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Welcome back to the show, everyone. Today we've got another great recipe for you. It's a great summer dessert. We're gonna make strawberry shortcakes in little individual muffin tin sizes. So first I wanna do a little special shout out to DJ Anderson. We've heard from her daughter-in-law that she's a very big fan of the show. So thanks for watching, DJ. All right, we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna start with the cake part. So what I have here is a cup of organic rolled oats that we're gonna grind into a flour. And I'm just using my Nutribullet today because it's a smaller amount. You don't need to, to use a big blender. And we're just gonna lightly grind it. We're not gonna grind it to a really fine flour because when you do that, I find that the, the cakes and stuff like that tend to get a little too dense. This keeps it a little bit light and fluffy. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our new Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. By becoming a supporting member, you gain access to great member perks like monthly product giveaways, free downloads of our eBooks, and access to our in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. We create this show for the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world to make it easy for everyone to live a plant-based lifestyle. So if you love our content, please join us on our mission and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay, that is perfect. All right, so we're just gonna put that in the bowl. I'm gonna save this because we're probably gonna be using that or we will be using that again. And I have uh, three quarters of a cup of almond flour or almond meal, you can use either one. Almond uh, flour just looks a little bit better because it's uh, had the skins removed so it's not quite as brown. So you get a little bit more of that classic look of a strawberry shortcake. Then we have one teaspoon of baking powder half teaspoon of baking soda. And we're just gonna mix those up lightly before we get onto the wet ingredients. And if you want the full printable recipe, uh, we'll give you a link in the details below. Okay, that's good enough for that. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the wet ingredients here. So I have a cup and a half of soy milk, and this is unsweetened soy milk, but you could use whatever plant milk you like. But I always like to stress um, using the unsweetened soy milk because the sweetener for all of my baked goods are dates. It's a whole food natural sweetener. If you use the sweetened soy milks, they have added sugars and stabilizers and all that kind of stuff, and you really just don't need to do that. And then we are gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla. And yes, I'm not measuring. <laughs> That's how I cook. I'm kind of a guesstimator. All right, so we're just gonna blend this up until the dates are completely pulverized. Okay, that looks pretty good. And you can see there's still little specks of the dates in there, but that's okay. You just don't want any like really big chunks because then you'll get that in the cake. There'll just be chunks of date in the cake. All right, so now we just stir that together. And I already have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, there we 
go. And if you see this, it looks pretty um, liquidy, right? And you may think, oh wow, I did something wrong. Not wrong at all. This, as it sits here, uh, the something in the oats, uh, it will start to absorb that moisture and it will start to thicken. And it only takes a few minutes, but you don't even have to wait for that. We're just gonna get these going right away in our muffin tin. I have my nice handy dandy silicone. It's got a stiff, uh, I don't know what you call this, the, the base part is stiff, but the little compartments, you can flip the, the muffins out when you're done. And it's so handy, I just love this thing. And I'll, get, I'll give you a link in the details below for this, because that's a really, it's a good buy. It's worth the money. Okay, so with these, we're gonna make 12. It will fill this whole thing. But each compartment is gonna be filled about to half. So you just start out doing that, just fill each one in half, and then in the end, you're gonna have probably a little bit left, and then you can kind of, you know, distribute the rest of that between the cupcakes. Well, cupcakes, these aren't cupcakes, but okay. So I'm just gonna finish filling these, and then I'm gonna put them in the oven uh, for 20 minutes, okay? On 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, so our cakes are out. They are nice and cool. But first we're gonna make our little uh, sauce that's gonna go on the strawberries. We're gonna do that really quick so that that can sit on the strawberries for a few minutes while we're preparing our little cakes. So back to our blender here. I've got three strawberries just with the tops off. Uh, two teaspoons of arrowroot powder, or you can use cornstarch if you, you know, if you don't have arrowroot powder, it works just about the same. Two pitted dates, these are just small uh, deglet dates. So if you're using a medjool, maybe a half a medjool or a whole, you know, that would, so that would probably make a whole medjool date. And then one third cup of water. And I already used my little small cup, so I'm using my big cup here. And we're just gonna blend this together until the strawberries are pulverized and then we're gonna cook it a little bit. Oops, I got the wrong. Okay, that's all you need. You just need a light blend just to get it all mixed together. Okay, now we're gonna pour this into our pan. And this is just on medium high heat. Um, and then we're just going to stir it and you're going to cook it until uh, it gets a little bit thick and gel, jelly-like. Okay. And that just takes a couple minutes. So while that's going there, thickening, I'm gonna move to our little cakes here. So they're not super tall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top off because that's gonna be like a little little cap essentially, so it's gonna have a layer in there. We're gonna have a couple layers of cream and a couple layers of cake and a couple layers of strawberries. Super yum. Okay, so you just wanna do that to all of your cakes. Keep stirring this guy here. Okay, it's just start, starting to thicken. All right, I'm gonna cut the rest of these up and then I'll come back and we'll start to assemble all of our pieces together. So now that our cakes are in the oven, I'm gonna show you how to make the cream, to cream topping that goes on the top. So I have a cup of uh, raw cashews and a third of a cup of dates that I've already soaked for two hours in just water and I've poured off the liquid already. Now we're gonna put that in our another little magic bullet container so we can blend it. And I have a half a cup of water. 
and then a half teaspoon of vanilla. So just a little splash. And then we're gonna blend this and we're just gonna blend it until it's really nice and creamy and you don't feel any of that, of that grittiness from the, the nut. So however long that takes. And just a tip for you, uh, when I use my magic bullet, sometimes, you know, when you're, you're blending it like this, it'll stop blending because it's kind of a thick mixture. If you put this in the base and if you tilt it like this while it's running, uh, and you can kind of shake it a little bit, it kind of keeps it from getting that air pocket in there and it can, and it can keep blending and it works pretty well for me. Okay, so there we are. The cashew cream is already ready, nice and silky. Mmm, delicious. Okay, I'm gonna use my little magic bullet lid and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator until our cakes are done and are, are already cooled. Uh, and while that's in the refrigerator, it's gonna thicken up a little bit and uh, be easier to work with. So. I'll be back and we'll assemble our cupcakes once they're out and cooled. Okay, so our, our uh, gel is ready. You see that? You know, it's not, it's, it's just, you know, slightly thickened. We're just gonna pour that over our strawberries. And that just gives you a little bit extra juice in there. Otherwise you're, your cakes, if it's just the strawberries with the cream and the cakes, it tends to be a little, it's a little dry. So, I'm just gonna mix that up a little bit into the bowl with the strawberries. And this is all like, you know, normal strawberry shortcakes, you would sprinkle sugar on here, and there would be sugar in here, and there'd be sugar in the whipped cream. No sugar here. All just dates and the natural sweetness from the strawberries. Yum. Okay, set that aside. We got back out our frosting here, or our cream topping, and you see how it's thickened? Really nice. Now I have my, uh, just a piping bag. If you don't have a piping bag, that's fine. You could use a plastic baggie, or you could just dollop it out with, uh, with a spoon. That would be fine too. This is just a little, I feel like it's a little quicker, a little easier, a little less messy, all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna put all of that in there. Even if we don't end up using it all, but I think we'll come pretty close to using it all. And if you don't use it all, you can put it back in your little container, put the lid back on, put it in the fridge, and you can use it to put on like your cinnamon oatmeal in the morning to make it like cinnamon bread oatmeal, or you could just put it a little dollop of, of it on a strawberry. Mm, yummy. Okay, there we go. See, I didn't get any mess. There's no mess. All right, so I've got them all, most of them cut here. The tops are here. So I'm just gonna show you a couple how I assemble them. Okay. So if you, you just have to, you know, watch how much you have in the bag because you're gonna use some for this layer here. You don't wanna put too much on the bottom layer. Okay, so we have one layer of that. Then you're gonna put a little scoop of strawberries. And you know, you just have to kind of watch the amount that you're using and kind of gauge how much you're gonna need for each additional cake. Put that over there. Then we put one of the tops on like this. And we put a little bit more on the top. Just a little, you know, a little fancy squirt there. And then I cut up a couple other strawberries here in a little bit, you know, prettier shape. It has like a little heart kind of shape to it. And you just put it on the top, just like that. Isn't that adorable? I mean, look at this little guy. I'm trying to pick it up without messing it up. Look at that, isn't that so cute? I just love it. Okay, 
So I'm gonna finish doing these, the rest of these, and then I'll meet you at the table for a taste. Okay, tasting time. Eeny, meeny, miny. Yes, and there are some missing because Jeffrey already ate some because they're too good to resist. All right, oh wow, look at that. So I put these in the refrigerator for a little bit to let them set up a little bit, otherwise they're kind of overly squishy. They're still squishy, but this is good. Let's see. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. The cake is so spongy. Mm, and you get the tartness of the strawberry, but then a little bit of the sweetness from that sauce and the frosting or the whipped cream. Mmm. Yum. So you can put these in the fridge, put a cover over them, and they'll last a good, you know, about three days. Although if you watch the cashew cream, it will turn a little bit gray looking because there's no preservatives in it, but it's still gonna taste amazing. So be sure to give this a, a like, guys, and I'll see you next week for another great recipe. Mmm, mmm, mmm.